question 1 at 25 degree centigrade molar conductance of 0 0.1 molar aqueous solution of ammonium hydroxide is given so therefore lambda m they are given is equal to 9.54 in terms of ohm inverse centimeter square and mole inverse Simon inverse, Simon is nothing but ohm inverse given and at infinite dilution molar conductance lambda m infinity has been given is equal to 238 with the same units. Now we have to calculate degree of ionization of ammonium hydroxide at the same concentration and temperature. Degree of ionization alpha is equal to lambda m divided by lambda m infinity which is equal to 9.54 divided by 238. This comes to be 0 0.0400 comes. Okay, but the answer given in terms of percentage, therefore, percentage of alpha, therefore, okay, multiply by 100, 0 0.04 into 100 is equal to 4 it comes. Okay, so what is the answer? Answer is option number B. Okay, question number 2, specific conductance kappa is equal to of 0 0.1 molar KCl at 23 degree centigrade they are given. Kappa is K is equal to 0 0.012 in terms of ohm inverse and uh, centimeter inverse. That means uh, it is a Simon centimeter inverse. Resistance is given 55 ohms. Resistance R is equal to 55 ohms. Okay, 55 ohms. Therefore, cell constant. Cell constant is a G star. So, how to calculate? There are two types of formula. One is L by A or G star is also equal to in terms of RK, which is equal to R 0 0.012 into 55, okay, which is equal to, it comes to be 0 0.66 centimeter inverse it comes. Okay. So, the answer is option number B. Question number 3. 0.5 amperes I is equal to strength of the current 0.5 ampere. Pass through acidified silver nitrate solution. Silver nitrate AgNO3. Ag plus NO3 minus. For 100 minutes, time T is equal to 100 minutes. Which is equal to 100 into 60 seconds altogether. Now we will have to calculate the mass of silver deposited at the cathode. At cathode always reduction takes place. Ag plus 1 undergoes reduction with 1 mole to give Ag 1 mole of silver metal. Okay. This 1 mole of electrons are equivalent to 1 Faraday of electricity. 1 Faraday of electricity always remember always deposit 1 equivalent mass. Okay. 1 equivalent mass. So, equivalent mass of silver is equal to 108 grams. Okay. 1 mole of silver is also equal to 108 atomic mass. Okay. Now, here what you can calculate is you calculate in terms of coulombs, quantity of current I into T. So, it is equal to 0 0.5 into 6000, right. So, this is equal to comes to be 3000 in terms of coulombs, Faraday. This Faraday, one Faraday, but 96,500. 96,500 coulombs will deposit 108 grams of silver. Therefore, we are passing now 3,000 coulombs. How much is deposited? You need to cross multiply. Upon cross multiplication, 3,000 into 108 divided by 96,500. This comes to be equal to approximately 3.3 grams. Okay, that is option number B. Second one is the answer. Question number four, which of the following is an insulator? Do not conduct electricity. Insulator, right? Graphite. In case of graphite, there are carbon, carbon, double bonds are pi bond, pi bonds, electrons are free. Mobile electrons. 
एलुमिन इज अ मेटल मेटल कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिस बिकॉज मूवमेंट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स डायमंड द कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड्स आर प्रेजेंट कार्बन कार्बन सिंगल बॉन्ड्स स्ट्रॉन्ग सिग्मा बॉन्ड्स आर दे आर नॉट एबल टू ब्रेक सो डायमंड कैन नॉट कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सिलिकॉन कैन एक्ट द सेमी कंडक्टर कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी टू स्मॉलर एक्सटेंट सो द आंसर इज डायमंड इज द आंसर इज ओके डायमंड डज नॉट कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव 4.5 ग्राम एल्युमिनियम एटॉमिक मास इज गिवन 27 डिपॉजिट फ्रॉम द कैथोड फ्रॉम एल्युमिनियम प्लस 3 सॉल्यूशन बाय अ सडन क्वांटिटी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ हाइड्रोजन प्रोड्यूस्ड एट एसटीपी फ्रॉम एच प्लस आयन इन सॉल्यूशन बाय द सेम क्वांटिटी ऑफ करंट विल बी इक्वल टू सो एल्युमिनियम 3 प्लस विल टेक अप 3 मोल्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन टू गिव एल्युमिनियम मेटल करेक्ट Three moles electrons are required. Means uh, three Faraday's are required to deposit one mole of aluminium. One mole of aluminium is equal to twenty-seven grams. But uh, it is deposited as a four point five gram. Four point five grams are deposited. Therefore, what is the corresponding Faraday electricity, which is equal to three into four point five divided by twenty-seven, and this is equal to zero point five Faraday of electricity passed. Now we have to produce. H, we have to produce hydrogen gas. So H plus in the solution takes up electron to give half mole of the hydrogen gas. Or I can write two moles H plus takes up two moles of electron to give one mole of the hydrogen gas. Okay. Two moles electrons are equal to two Faraday. Two Faraday will produce one mole of hydrogen gas in terms of volume. One mole of gas occupies twenty-two point seven liters at STP, right? Actually, how many coulombs of electricity is passed? Point five Faradays. So, therefore, point five Faradays of electricity. How much of that volume is produced? So, you can cross multiply these numbers. On cross multiplication, you get the answer as five point six liters of hydrogen gas. Okay. The answer is option number D. Clear? Question number six. In the electrolytic cell, zinc in zinc sulfate, copper in copper sulfate. Therefore, zinc is the anode and uh, copper is the cathode. Correct? Is a E one. When concentration is changed from one molar to one molar, and that of the copper sulfate zero point zero one molar changes to E two. So, which is the correct relationship? So, what I'll do is formula is E is equal to E naught. Right? Minus zero point zero five nine one divided by n factor, right? Log of anode concentration divided by cathode concentration, correct term, right? So I'll take the first data. So let it be equal to E one now, which is E equal to E naught, which is constant. Minus zero point zero five nine one divided by valence E in both the metals, it is equal to two, right? Then log of anode concentration zinc sulfate initially zero point zero one means ten to the power minus two right divided by copper sulfate is one correct so is equal to E naught okay so minus zero point zero five nine one divided by two this can be written as minus two log to the power ten correct minus of minus becomes ten and log ten is equal to one correct if it is equal to E naught Plus zero point zero five nine one. That two and two got cancelled, right? So that E one is equal to E naught plus something. So we'll go for second data. For the second data, let it be equal to E two. E naught is a fixed one. Minus zero point zero five nine one divided by n factor is two. Log of now zinc sulfate concentrations one divided by ten power minus two. Reverse it. Which is equal to E naught minus zero point zero five nine one divided by two. Then this is the log ten power plus two becomes correct. So it is equal to E naught minus okay. So zero point zero five nine one divided by two. This is a two log ten correct. Ten log ten is equal to one. So two and two get cancelled. So therefore equal to E two is equal to E naught minus zero point zero five nine one. Previous case plus added second case minus so which one is larger? E one is larger compared to E two. Therefore, what is the answer? Answer is option number B. Correct.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन हाइड्रोजन गैस इलेक्ट्रोड बाय डिपिंग प्लैटिनम वायर इन एच सी एल और पी एच इज इक्वल टू टेन दे गिवन पासिंग हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड द प्लैटिनम वायर एट वन एटमोस्फियर द ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोड विल बी रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन पी एच ओके और इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल ऑफ द हाइड्रोजन इलेक्ट्रोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल इज इक्वल टू प्लस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन इन टर्म्स ऑफ पी एच सो दे आर आस्किंग फॉर ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन पी एच इज गिवन टेन सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई सो इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव नाइन वन in terms of volt right so the answer is option number a first one is the answer standard electro potential of sn+4 to tin so this is a reduction potential they given 0.15 volt that the chromium to chromium reduction plus 3 to zero state reduction minus 0.34 volt the two couples in their standard state connected to make a cell the cell potential therefore e not of cell cell potential standard cell potential is equal to e not of cathode minus e not of anode correct lower value is anode higher value is cathode higher value is a cathode and the lower value negative value is the anode correct therefore it is equal to take the values 0.15 minus of minus 0.74 But add these numbers, so we'll get it as equal to 0.89 volts. Okay, so that is the option number B. The standard reduction potential SRP values are given for lithium, barium, sodium, magnesium. Values are given in terms of negative values. Which of the following is the strongest to oxidizing agent? In terms of SRP value, if SRP value is very very low. It is a very good, very good reducing agent. Very good reducing agent. As the SRP values goes on increases, they become more and more stronger oxidizing agent. Question is, which is the strongest oxidizing agent? For the strongest oxidizing agent, SRP value should be very very large. Since there are negative numbers, the smallest negative number should be the answer. So minus two point three seven. Is the larger number among the negative numbers, so that it corresponds to which one? It corresponds to magnesium. Answer is option number D. Magnesium two plus is a very good oxidizing agent. It can easily undergoes reduction to give the magnesium metal. Okay, D is the answer. Fine. The most convenient method to protect the bottom of the ship. The ship is made up of iron. Okay, so if there is a ship, this is made of iron. F E generally what will happen? F E easily undergoes oxidation to give iron two plus iron two electron lost. Then it lead to the rusting process. So what we can do is we can have some magnesium pieces around it. Magnesium now more reactive metal acting as the anode. Whereas the iron acts as the cathode now. If the anode undergoes oxidation easily, whereas if if iron is a cathode, it not undergo oxidation. Oxidation stops, so it remain as the iron only. No rusting process. Therefore, okay, answer is option number C. Connecting with the magnesium block. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.